on video number two here, we want to show you what we're doing with the, with the Bowen technique. Bowen technique is a very light muscle work that comes from Australia. So first we're going to work here on the lumbar spine and we're doing this Bowen technique in order to help the patient, help these muscles begin to relax. So the first thing that we're going to do is use my thumbs and we're using a very slight little movement that feels to the patient as if we're doing strumming a guitar string. So right now what I'm doing is I'm telling the muscles in this lower back here that I'm going to be doing some work in the lower back. And as I set the parameters, kind of like a fence for what it is, which area that we're going to be working on. So I've just told the muscles we're going to work on this lumbar area. And in addition to this, we're going to do some work right here on the muscles of the buttocks. And normally what we'll be doing is between each one of these little moves that we're doing is I would wait several minutes and actually step out of the room to go work on someone else. And for the sake of this video, from time to time, we'll pause it so that you don't have the downtime on the video of just watching the patient laying here while the muscles are beginning to relax. So as we're continuing to work on this lower back, we're doing some slight stretches. All this is designed to, again, wake up and stretch some of the muscles here, all dealing with the hips, the buttocks, the low back, and in a little bit, we'll move further up to the thoracic and then the neck area. Like I said, this is the Bowen technique, named after Dr. Tom Bowen, who is no longer alive, but he was in Australia, an osteopathic type of physician. And this muscle work is actually, this technique is working to tell the muscles to begin to relax, to begin to pull the same on the left side as the right side. And this muscle work is very important, just like the Nemo, which we showed you a little earlier. And the reason that it's so important is because we're working on unlocking the skull plates and getting the spinal fluid to move. And the spinal fluid is fluid that goes from your brain all the way down your tail, all the way down the spine to the tailbone. And it's fluid in an enclosed space under pressure. So it acts like a hydraulic system. So it's very important that we work on the muscles to break up the lactic acid so that you don't have muscle spasms. And it's important that what we're doing down here is working to balance the muscles so that they begin to pull evenly on side to side. Normally during this time I would have stepped out to work on another patient. Now we're going to continue with the next portion of working on the low back which is working here on the legs. You notice I use my elbow to do the muscle work and also using my hands. Now we're going to work on this other side for just a moment. Now at this point, what we, I would normally do, like I said, is step out of the room work on another patient and allow the muscles to begin to relax. The longer I allow the muscles to relax, the better. And in the beginning, I give more time for the muscles to relax. Later on, we don't need quite as much time for the patient to lay there and relax. Now that we've done the leg portion, I'm going to go ahead and do some moves here with my fingers on the lower back. Now these moves are very light moves on the muscle as we go across the belly of the muscle. And again, I'm telling the muscles to do a particular thing, to begin to relax. And at this particular point, as I said, I would give the muscles more time in order to relax. I would step out in order to work on the next patient. So we're going to pause this for just a moment. 